Mark Seifter. And I'm Linda Zeiss Palmer. And this is Arcane Mark. Welcome to Build a Character Workshop 2 Second Character Boogaloo. Uh, during this episode, we will be making a character that I might play on Roll for Combat with Linda's character that she might play, the um, a gender known mantis trickster known as Hofesh Zelazar. Hofesh Zelazar. I'm never gonna remember that name, no matter how many times you say it. Um, Tofesh Zelazar. I will. I can remember, remember. Mantis Hime, the familiar. <laughs> um, this is our character from last time. There we go. So, um, just like all other building character workshops, we're gonna go through and we're going to create the character. This time, since it seemed like I was figuring, oh, it's a Twitch plays sort of type of situation, so everyone will just pick something at each step, so we don't need to do a concept. But people kind of actually had a concept at the beginning anyway that they did for Linda's character. So let's try it with a concept that is in the Twitch chat first to see how different it is and to see which one works in case we build a third character later on as well. So... Speaking of build a concept, well, we can all look at our core rule books now, and the first step to any character is create a concept. Unless you're like doing a weird gimmick like a build a character workshop where you don't. So let's talk about different concepts concepts that we could have here. Uh, hey, welcome Numbat. No worries, you made it after the introduction. The real introduction. Um, wink. Alright, so um, Leshy Firebrand Bread Thief. Hobgoblin Firebrand, Red Thief, Dr. Jones Sr., Dr. Jones Sr., One Hop, what's One Hop? So any character concept, we can put some out here and figure out which concept we want to go with for this new character. Piso developer. Piso developer. Okay, that could be hard as a Piso designer to to understand the vast gulf of no. I mean, there there's a lot of similarities. A Rooksy fighter with the Asylodian rune scar. Aha, uh -huh, and a Rooksy fighter with his rune scar. A Rooksy bounty hunter. An Aladdin reference. Ah. There, that explains it. Oh, I oh, see. One hop. one hop is like one do, do, step do, do, uh, ahead of the bread uh, line. Right. Do, 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 do. Yes, level one. Gnome hugger. Yes, we're, we're building a, for a... We're going to create a level one character. That's right. Is a gnome hugger a gnome that hugs things or someone else that hugs gnomes? Well, maybe... Well, my, my, if my character is a gnome, then... Maybe maybe our characters are friends and they hug. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe that could be a no hug. Fortunately, unfortunately, question mark. Um, it seems like a bread thief has the most votes so far. Unfortunate pumpkin says ancient elf. So, we're going to do a bread thief, but I'm not going to do any of the um, because generic bread thief showed up like three times, but like Leshy Firebrand bread thief only showed up once and was very specific and kind of jumps the gun towards the other things. I'm going to just go with Bread Thief is the concept for this character. And what class was your character, Linda? Because if we're playing together, we, we might uh, want to be like a good class. I am a monk, I think. You're There's a monk. So much going you, you on think. That character. Hold on. You think uh, you're a monk. Background, yeah, I'm a monk. Okay. Yes, I'm a monk. Linda's a monk. So, my character's concept is Bread Thief. Alright? Mm -hmm. So... Um, let's go a little further with this bread thief concept and try to figure out in the concept what kind of class this character is going to be. So we have like a charlatan bard, an actual thief rogue. Well, I mean, <laughs> that is the word thief. That'll but teach buddy, the keeper buddy caught with Linda's nose. <laughs> there you go. Well, I mean, we can hear the people sing. Yep. They're singing the song of the bread thief concept. <laughs> See, it could have been like Javert, the the Hell Knight, who just goes after people for no reason. All right, so Dark Swordsman suggests Thief Rogue. 
Uh, X on Lens suggests uh, Charlotte Tim Bard or, or an actual, actual thief. thief rogue. Jim so says Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte Tim Bard. So X on Lens sort of is one of each. So yeah. um, we have essentially it's a thief draw so or far. Charlotte thief, Bard? thief rogue, Charlotte Tim Bard, or something else. Something else. Bard, and all of Bard. Okay, all of Bard. Okay, so we're Charlatan Bard. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely. Okay, we're, we're gonna Bard. be a Bard. All right, so my character is a Bard, who I guess is like maybe it's more like Aladdin or something mm -hmm. oh, slash. It, it, I'm some kind of a singing bread thief. Yes. Singing about how I stole the bread <laughs> from people. Let's not be too hasty. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this bread thief. Uh, we've got the concept. Great. Um, we've based it on being a bread thief. We think we're going to do a bard. So let's start by starting my ability scores at 10 by building ability scores. Excellent lens said it had to be done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ability scores. I don't buy that. Our warlord said street rat. All right, so we're going to select an ancestry. What is my ancestry? Given that we are kind of probably going to want to do it on one of the replayable quests that isn't out yet for... When is that even going to be out? Um, quest 4. Yeah, when is that even going to so, be out? So, August, September, October, November. November. Yes. So soon, but not yet. But it will be out after Lost Omen's character guide, which means you are allowed... No, wait, I probably wouldn't have enough. No, because you wouldn't have, you're not going to have enough. Uh, no, easy. yeah, I've like played one quest. Yeah. So I probably wouldn't be able to access uncommon options. So if you pick an uncommon ancestry, and um, I, I mean, we probably could still play role well for combat, just not for official Pathfinder Society credit, depending on whether Steven is like, no, it must be for credit. But, um, or I'm just going to be forced to, like, run and play lots of Pathfinder Society in between to build up my credit so I can get the one that you guys picked for me. But um, if you go for one of the common ones in the core, it's going to be a little easier for me to play it as an official, um, official Pathfinder Society game. It's totally fine if you want to go Hobgoblin, Leshy, or, um, or Uruxi will work it out. I doubt I have enough time to get the PFS2 credit, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, so we have Hobgoblin, Half Elf, One of us. Dwarf. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, wow, Strayer. Thanks for the mega cheer. I got, uh, we got a mana, now potion. A mana now potion. Now we have two kinds of potions. That's awesome. Ooh, an RPG staff. Lots of cool things. Oh, Kubit's got the little Kir Kirby ish puff thing that we had before. It's fluffy. Oh, Stellar did too. Nice. We've got all the floofs. So we have a okay, human, so we, so we have, human, dwarf, half-elf. We have more than that. Let me scroll up pa folk. past the cool Kirby poofs. So um, we've got Kalashite human. There's one of us, which I think is human. Dw there's a dwarf. That uh, That's just a correction of the half-elf to be half-elf. So hobgoblin, half-elf, half elf, human, human, dwarf. Dwarf, uh, dwarf again. Um... Tall goblin, goblin who thinks they're a hobgoblin. Hob another human. Hob another hobgoblin. Human human, human, human. Okay, so I think human has, has picked it up. And I, it, I'm guessing Kelsey human is for being Aladdin. Um, I'm sure the other people might want Galton human for being <laughs> Jean Valjean. And then Leshy. So, yeah, human has human has taken, taken the lead there. So we've got the human ancestry. Yeah, and I'm going to take two ability scores, and given that I'm going to be a charlatan bard, and I want to be able to both trick people with deception and cast my bard spells, I'm taking charisma, but you guys can pick my other ability score boost. Jim is right that half-elf is a human, and we have not yet picked my uh, heritage, so half-elf may still make it through. All right, there's a lot of decks, decks? here. Yeah, decks? I mean, I'm a thief. So I probably need Dex. it for thievery. So, sure, we're gonna go with dexterity. That that is what I was thinking might make sense too. It looks like you guys agree. All right, now I'm going to need to select Dex a, and charisma. Yeah, we have Dex yep, and charisma. We got charisma too. So exactly what Hillary said is what we did. So now we need to pick a 
heritage for human. We can pick any of the heritages in Lost Omens character guide as well. Even though I don't have it with me here right now. I think I downloaded it on my other computer after um, I, along with some people on the Arcade Mark Discord, were misreading um, yeah, well, we Armored can... Kelt. So if we move this, this slightly, slightly um, then... then I should have it up. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I literally have it up here. So I can scroll up. Uh, okay. So what we've got is, I'm going to rely on you guys to also have the core rulebook so that you can mm -hmm. look at like half elf, half orc, versatile, and skilled heritage. But the new ones that are in Lost Nomen's character guide are um, that you, we could potentially pick are where, Also, there. Honestly, whatever you guys can, who have it, or subscribers can pick, can ask for the other ones if you want. They might not be sanctioned in Pathfinder Society. Dumbad is correct. So if they don't get sanctioned, I will have to switch it to something else. Elftro, a subscriber, says that the only one is Winter Touched, which probably doesn't sound like me. Uh, okay, so Ular and, but you guys can Pathfinder? pick it if you think I'm like descended from Baba Yaga. So, it's either Half Elf, Half Orc, uh, Winter Touch, Elf Tro said, mm -hmm. or um, the other two, which are Versatile and Skilled Heritage. Oh, the design team, the design team was short until, uh, was short people until very, very recently. And, and then Logan got sick. And then Logan got and sick. And Jason was taping. And Jason was taping. And, yeah. Now the design the design team has had a similar experience to the organized play team in terms of not having enough resources, with uh, with folks being sick. And I spent a week basically mostly. trying to do about like two and like as much of the Jason and Logan stuff as I could when Logan was sick and Jason was out, so that Liz could like do normal things and mm -hmm. and get in as um, design stuff. So and we it have was two very skilled scary. and versatile and a half elf. Yeah, two skilled. Of Next time, I, I have gotten my flu shot already. That's right. Uh, Paizo's gonna have some free flu shots. I'm gonna in a get that. Weeks. I'm gonna get that one. Um, but after and after I was versatile. sick, I was just like, forget right, this. I'm so, getting my flu shot right away. So there's a good amount of versatile skilled and a little bit of half elf. So uh, I'm trying to scroll up. It's harder in this one where oh whoa! I just wound up moving the chat all the way to the right side of the screen where I can't see it. Oh no! Yay me! Uh, can you scroll with the um, arrow keys? There's this little bar, but it's almost invisible. What okay. Do the arrow keys work on this? All right, so we've got skilled, half elf, versatile, versatile skill. Uh, uh, you can do it, but the thing is, it scrolls right immediately uh, back down. Okay. Okay. Well, we can always do it on the oh, other wait. computer. The thing I can do is I can bring this all the way down. And then we don't see off faces. Skilled, skilled, half elf, versatile, skilled, skilled. I think skilled has it. It looks like skilled has it. All right, so I'm going to be skilled. You're a human, and you are skilled. What's my skill from being skilled? I have to pick that now. All right. Yeah, it's it's more for skilled. So what is my skill? Is it deception because I'm a, I'm a charlatan? Because I'm from, a thievery? Might you get it from your... I might, but then I'll get to oh, replace yeah, it with something yeah. else. Elftro says thievery. I'm cl it's, I think it's pretty clearly either deception or thievery. Mm -hmm. So... All right, what do people think for my... All right, th two th let's do thievery. Because we'll, we'll have choice. Well, if my character is a um, as a friend of Linda's agender gnome, then we could possibly hug. Because yeah. Hillary says has to hug gnomes. Mm-hmm. Deceptory. Yes. We'll be sure to get both deception and thievery on this character. Gotta face the facts. You're my only friend, Tiny Mantis. <laughs> All right, um, so we've got thievery so skills from that. Will go down I am a skilled human with thievery, and now we also get a, um, we also get a human ancestry feat. So our options are um, either an adapted cantrip that comes from non-occult spells, um, cooperative nature to giving a bigger bonus. Uh, or, or, sorry, to give me a bonus to successfully aid people. Um, general training, which gives me a general feat. Haughty obstinacy, where I am very haughty. 
natural ambition, which would give me, I think, reach spell or whatever that one bard feat is that you can get at first level if um, if you take natural ambition. Um, natural skill, which would give me two more skills. Gotta eat to live, gotta steal to eat. Tell you all about it when we've got the time. Alright, unconventional weaponry, which would give me a weird weapon. And anything else throw pulls out of uh, the human section of... Oh, courteous comeback. You've got to be Kelshite for that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see. We've got natural ambition, natural ambition, courteous comeback. Combat muffins, exotic weapon. So I think that's an unconventional weaponry. Okay, I think muffins are not in there. We've got ambition again. Alright. I'm very ambitious to cast Reach Spell. Let me check what it is. There's literally only one thing that you can take at that level. With Yes, it is Reach Spell. So we know that I have Reach Spell from Natural Ambition. All right. So we're done with Ancestry Step. Way to go, everybody. Now it's time for my background. I think that there's already only a few that really fit with what you guys... Um, we're thinking for this character, it's going to either probably be charlatan or a street ratty background like, um, what is it, street urchin? Yeah, it's probably either street urchin or charlatan, guys, but Ular Warlord's coming in with a curveball of Animal Whisperer. Alright, so let's see what... So you can have a boo? Yes, so I can have a boo, I'm, I'm assuming. Um... So let's urchin. see. We've got urchin, animal whisperer, urchin, urchin, urchin. urchin, urchin. urchin. It's urchin. Street urchin. All right. Street okay. Urchin. This is straight up Aladdin. Oh well, the unfortunate pumpkin is clarifying sea urchin. <laughs> All right. Abu, who? Well, if I was adopted by gnomes, I could probably um, probably well, you get. Well, if we work as a team. Then maybe Mantis Hime hangs out with you too. Could be like a boo. Alright, yeah. so as a street urchin, I get either dexterity or constitution plus another ability score. I say charisma is the other ability score. Which of dex and con do you guys think? Hey, Kemlak. Hey. Yeah, welcome. Uh, welcome from, from Europe. Or you're from Europe, so I don't welcome you from Europe. But either mm -hmm. way. Um, so I get thievery. And I get a lore skill based on the city that I... You already I'm, have thievery. Er, yep, so I get whatever I want. So people are saying dexterity for the dex or con. So we'll do dex and charisma again. Yep. And let's say that my, my city is Absalom because I'm in the Pathfinder Society. So Absalom lore, thievery. And you already have thievery. And that means I, I, I get pickpocket. And so we need to pick a different skill to replace thievery since we already have thievery. So it can be any skill in the game. I just don't recommend performance or occultism. Or we're going to repeat this exact same thing where we pick a different skill in a moment when I go into bard. So um, yeah. Exton Land suggests deception for the charlatan bardness. Uh, what do other people think? That seems like one that you guys are definitely going to give me eventually, so... Maybe. My, uh, stealth is also really good. Acrobatics. Those are all legit. Deception. deception. Stealth, acrobatics, deception. Alright. Well. Um, looks like this, um, stealth, stealth again. Acrobatics, acrobatics again. Oh man, there's two of everything. Alright. You could be the tiebreaker. I'm pointing to you. Literally, not anybody else. And that was Elstro. Acrobatics it is. So... Got, I think we're going to end up with deception, stealth, and acrobatics on this I think we mission, will, so. and also maybe some other charisma-based skills and decks. I think we're going to have all the decks and charisma skills by the end of this episode. Let's find out. Yes. So for now, we have acrobatics. All right, we've made it through the background step. you got pickpocket, right? Yeah, I got pickpocket. All right, I can pick people's pockets. No, so now we choose the class. We know it's bard. That means plus two more charisma. Oop. And we do not write down all the choices of bard yet. Instead, we... Determine ability scores. Okay, so my psychic powers indicate that we should do Dex and Charisma again. Because that's what we've been doing every time. Mm -hmm. So we got two other ability scores. I'm thinking Wisdom and Constitution myself because you have to be a little bit, have a little bit of wisdom to survive on the streets and Constitution for those times without food. 
What do you guys think for the other two ability scores? Inting Con. So Author Stealth says Inting Con. Inting Con. Uh, Inting Con. Inting Con. Wizen Con. Okay. Inting Con. I'm going to go ahead and put it's, Con in. All right. It's definitely Con. It looks like uh, oh, Wizen Con. Looks like Int has a slight edge over Wisdom here. Uh, wisdom. Why I'm giving myself one vote. Continent. Continent is, uh, oh, I see, to be different but not different. Wiz and Con. Con. Okay, it's, it's still exactly tied if you count my thinking that it was Wiz and Con. Um, what if I thought it should be Inting Con? Inting Con. Just to mess with you. Oh, okay, Inting Con is over by one. We're going to play tennis rules. Um, <laughs> well, people are actually back and forth. There. Yeah, I know. We're yeah. playing tennis rules. Inting Wiz to be awkward. Okay, that doesn't change it. Because um, I've already put Con in. Because so Con is already in. Wiz and Con. All right, it's back to um, back to being not advantage int or advantage without. Um, it's it's tied. Oh man, are we gonna have to settle this with a dice roll? Yes. Here we go. High is gonna be me, and low is gonna be um, int. It is. The dredge or votes or whatever the dice decides. It is int and con. <laughs> int and oh con. boy, I have no will saves. <laughs> well, perception. So I can't find the things to steal, but I know all the skills. Alright, let's go into um, record class details. It's perfect. You'll be tricked by the old vizier, but you're smart enough to know you have no will saves. There we go. <laughs> Alright. We will record. Nice, folks. We will record class details now. So, um, record all the benefits and class features of being a bard. Bard, bard, bard. All right. So, I am an expert in will and perception, um, which hopefully will help a little bit with the ten wisdom. Hey there, Jaded Tempest. We are making a bread thief who is Aladdin. Um. It was not d directly stated Aladdin except for one or two times, but then every choice has wound up being Aladdin. <laughs> so, um, that is what's going on right now. It's an Absalom Aladdin, which, I mean, keep in mind, the very first Pathfinder Society scenario ever, um, there was a street gang who was led by, like, an Absalom native, but who's Kalashite ethnicity, who was mm -hmm. born in Absalom, who is was a, like, a street rat. So, like, a, a, the street rats in Absalom are of every ethnicity because it's a very blended melting pot of a city. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're expert in will and perception, and so we train that's in right. shapes. Um, we are not. But our reflex is really good because of our dexterity. No, I'm oh, sorry, we're, yeah, we're, we're trained, trained in the, in the other stage. stage. We're yeah. not expert in any yes. of the others. We're also trained in occultism and performance automatically. And we got... Five additional skills. <coughs> Static is or Statler is wondering if we can get sent to sniff out the bread. No, normally you would just use perception for that, which at least I have an expert in, so I can sniff it out a little bit and find some bread. Absaladin. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, that might that might wind up being the character's name. So we'll we'll see when we get to the end. So we get five additional skills. I'm going to take stealth and deception because they were so close to acrobatics before. Yep. So we get three skills that are not that. How many dex and charisma skills do we not have? Because those are clearly Let's the see. things I'm, that this I'm character is good at. The saves and I such. will look. Can you do that, please? Thank All right. You. So the dexterity and charisma skills we do not have are diplomacy and intimidation. Um, and we actually have every dexterity skill in the game at this point. Um, and extra land suggests society as well. Lore based goods. If I take the polymath moves, I might not want to take all the charisma skills. Because the polymath muse is going to give me the ability to use my performance instead of... For certain aspects of diplomacy and intimidation, such as making an impression and demoralizing. All right. So we have Diplo, Athletics, Occult, Society, and Diplo. All right. We already Lore have Apples, Occult. Lore Bait Goods. 
Diplomacy. Okay, so everyone's saying diplomacy, so let's take that out. Let's get that out of the way. So I'm seeing um, athletics and society and, and survival. survival. Um, well, you use society to survive on the streets and survival to survive um, outside. So it is true that if I wanted to use the subsist on the street to subsist on the streets, I would need society probably. If there's enough societies, let's grab society. Um, all right. So it looks like survival and athletics are the other ones that um, are around for for the last one. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. got more society, so we've, well, we've got there, society. Well, there's a delay, so they yeah, can yeah, the absolutely. Same athletics for climbing, jumping, and other Aladdin parkour. All right, that's true, especially with no no strength. I'm gonna need all the help I can get on the Aladdin parkour. All right, and there's another for athletics. So yeah, so we've got go athletics. athletics. Okay, perfect. Right, we've got society and athletics. So what are my total skills all throughout um, everything? Thievery, Absalom lore, acrobatics, occultism, performance, diplomacy, society, deception, stealth, and athletics. Okay, that sounds like Aladdin. All right, so we've done all that. I'm trained in simple weapons, longsword, rapier, sap sword, bow short sword, and whip, as well as unarmed attacks, light armor, unarmed, def unarmed defense, occult spell attacks, and occult spell DCs. So, all the other stuff. Yep. And my hit points are um, going to be 17. Oop. Hit points done. Okay. Because I have 12 constitution. And we'll worry about the other weapon trainings once we actually buy weapons. All right. So, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's pick our muse. Muse time. What is our muse? So there are three possible muses. Enigma, a mystery driving Aladdin to uncover the hidden secrets of the multiverse. Maestro, a virtuoso inspiring Aladdin to greater heights. So the Enigma might be a dragon. Uh, it could be a Rory or Nethys. The Maestro could be a... Coral Angel or Landizata or Shallon. The Polymath is a jack of all trades, flitting between skills and pursuits. Could be a Fae. It could be Desna or Callistria. All right, let's see. We've got some choices here. We've got Polymath, Maestro, Polymath, Enigma for a Jin. Maestro for Soothe. Polymath, Polymath, Polymath. Checking. Okay. I think that um, there's a lot of good ones in here and reasons, but I think Polymath has its. At the current moment, is, I think it's enough ahead. I think it has like five, and the others have only two. Oh wait, no, there's another one for Enigma. All right, I'll give it a little tiny bit more while Linda is checking some. What are you checking? Uh, yes. If you want to fight, yeah, you should be. Oh, you mean do I have enough charisma for the firebrand? No, so I was asking um, if you were on track to be on the firebrands, and yes. Um, this character is, this character is in no <coughs> shape for, uh, Firebrand's All dedication, right. qualification, and features. It looks like, and, and, and uh, so, Polymath was ahead by two, and then we picked up exactly one of everything. Um, authors tell wonder who's the deity of baking. Hmm. Who would be the deity of baking? I don't know, like, do we have, we have so many deities, there's gotta be some deity somewhere that has baking in their portfolio just because there are so many pages of it. Shellen could be just from uh, from art. Uh, especially baking like wedding cakes. Yeah. Yeah, you can. The muffin the man. The muffin man. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like um, it looks like Polymath has it. Polymath. I'm going to close it out for Polymath. So All that right, means so what does Polymath give us? I get versatile performance, which means I can demoralize with my performance and make an impression with my performance. And I also get a free spell in my repertoire of Unseen Servant. So I have my Unseen Servant help me steal from people. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe it's my only friend, Abu, the Unseen Servant. Unseen uh, Servant, yep. All right. Or Proto Genie, as <laughs> Ultra says. All right. Yeah, I can totally see a Rastal. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe a Rastal because you farm for the grain, but he doesn't specifically there, have the baking. Hillary, I feel like there's probably a baking deity somewhere just because we have... Golarian has so many deities. There's probably at least a hearth deity, right? Yeah, Fulgrit. Like Fulgrit. Yeah. Um, Thank you. I was blanking on her name. All right. 
But Linda, you did all the dwarf stuff yeah, for I Fires know. in the Haunted City. I know, but... Wasn't there, like, shrines to all the dwarven yes, there deities? Were, yes, there were, but okay. I was blanking on which one was Fulgrit and which one was... Which one was Bulka and which one was Fulgrit? And which one was... Yes, Bulka and Fulgrit. Okay. And Fair enough. So, um, occult spells in my repertoire. We've got to pick them. Let's see what we've got. So, my spell repertoire contains, um... It's going to contain two first-level occult spells and five occult cantrips. Let's pick the first-level occult spells. So I have a utility spell in Unseen Servant. And I actually have enough decks that if using a backup ranged attack is not terrible. So I don't necessarily need to have spells that will carry me in combat. But it, it sure would be nice to have something cool for combat like... Soothe or Phantom Pain or um, something like There's a lot of good ones that I can use. Uh, but if it's like... I know we made one for, I think, Peyton one time where he had like Ventriloquism and Disguise and Unseen Servant. That was it. And so, couldn't like, actually attack. Yeah. So let's see what we've got here. But that uh, does make me curious, though, if there is a... There is a more baking focused thing. Yeah, to do my we need to fu- we need to research that. I'm sure yeah. there's an there's an imperial lord there's of probably everything. Probably an imperial lord of. of so there's cake. probably one out there that's like the cake mistress. All right, so for our first level cult spells, we have soothe. We have ghost sound, which I think is a cantrip, uh, but we can keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. We have item facade, so that I can make an item look perfect or shoddy. Um, mm-hmm. Soothe for healing. What else do we have? Illusory Disguise. To disguise as Prince Ali. Magic Weapon. That's a good one for a bu- uh, buffing people's weapon. Magic Missile's in there too. Oh yeah, we're not on Ketchup yet, but I like Ghost Sound. Summon Fae. To summon like some kind of a gremlin probably or a pixie or, or not a pixie, but like a low-level sprite. Um... All of these are good. No one is matched for the match game. That can be a boo. And my unseen servant can be the genie. <laughs> All right. What do people think? We've got a lot of options out there. There's honestly a lot of good first level occult spells. We didn't even get into, like, Bless, which is not really good. It's good for me because I will be able to inspire courage. Mm-hmm. Or Grim Tendrils, Magic Missile. Um, all right. It's Thysamet. Catholic Good, Imperial Lord of Feasts and Celebrations. Monkey, Monkey Goblin for Abu. Command, drop the bread. Okay, so okay. we have no agreement. We've got we a lot no of spells agreement. listed. Alright. Um, there sure is. So I'm just going to... How many, how many are listed? There's like... A lot. It's 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 like almost a third of all of the spells. Let's count. Okay. So here we go. We have... Okay, hold on. You have soothe, soothe, item facade, illusory disguise, magic weapon. That's facade. four. Disguise. Weapon. weapon. Force. Fae. Summon Fae. Fae. Command. Command. There, so there's six. All right. Okay, here we go. D6 it is. I soothe, so I got one. And the third one. Uh, you have soothe and illusory disguise. I have soothe and illusory disguise. There we go. And I'm taking ghost sound for Kentrips because, um... Of the fact that Dark Swordsman liked it so much that they picked it during the first level. So yes. we're going to take it. Um, let's see. What the other dice have assisted us once again. What other first level cantrip should we take? Um, potentially an attack cantrip like Days or Telekinetic Projectile. So we have Ghost Sound. There's also a possibility of Shield. Although I can always just buy a Shield anyway. Go sound for random sing-alongs in public. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's very important. Plus, I can use it to distract the guards. We should probably get you an attack cantrip. Backup singers. All right. So, so, so you don't have any offensive um, first-level spells. Let's take um, 
Maybe telekinetic projectile. That's what I said, telekinetic projectile. Yeah. So, yeah, that sounds good. Throwing stuff, moving stuff. That makes sense Throwing to throw apples. apples. Yeah. I was all, yeah, I was thinking either that or daze to, like, daze the guards and be like, ha! But um, I, I think throwing apples and stuff for telekinetic projectile. Telekinetic projectile makes sense. We also, yeah, Altera said days. Yep. So we could, we could take days as well? Yeah, we could take both of them. That gives me two two attacks. What are other things? We'll just take all the ones people say. We have two more that we need to grab. Uh, Exxon Lance says ranged or melee. Um, ranged, because I've got to make a distraction from a distance to get away with my bread. Um, should I have detect magic so I can find magical jewels that, to steal from the Cave of Wonders? Um, Prestidigitation? Prestidigitation is a good one. Yeah, let's take that. There's a lot of yeses. Uh, oh yeah, prestidigitation, prestidigitation my favorite. Prestidigitation. That, All right, yeah, 100. so should we do uh, light or should we do detect magic? <coughs> Yeah, light or detect magic, go. So we have detecto magico, and we have one for light. What do you guys think? Detect. Read R unless you know if a specific item is magical. That's true. It's very handy, but it takes a long enough time that I might be captured by the guards, too. So detect magic just so you know there is magic in the area. That's true. So then you can figure out which stalls you want to rob. Mm-hmm. Ooh, thanks for the cheer, Arthur's Tale. It looks like we got an epic staff. Yay! Woo, epic staff. Thanks, Arthur's Tale. Thanks. More emojis. Whoa. Oh, it's RPG staff. Cool emojis. And actually, X Game Monster got the epic staff. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So, um, let's figure out what our last one is. Is it Light Detect Magic or Read Aura? Fear, Fear the, the mon Fire, fire Monkey. monkey. <laughs> ah, it's a Fire Staff for Drenzior. Nice. Sweet. Alright, I will roll randomly. Oh, wait, no. Uh, game Monster says light, so we're doing light. Light. All right. So, we've got all the spells. We've got Never a lot of... Never come without a torch when sneaking through alleyways. We've got a lot of choices. Alley, sneaking through dark alleyways. Also, let me... XP time. Pop in some XP. Boom. Suddenly, XP happens. It did. All right. So, we're getting... We're getting close to the end of building this character because we made all the class decisions. Um, for equipment, let's get a bard kit. That just seems simple enough. Makes sense. Does that have any weapons in it? I think it does. Let's let me check in the equipment. Oh yeah, what kind of instrument? I think I sing. Right, because it's Aladdin. Oh yeah, that's true. <coughs> Aladdin doesn't really have a musical instrument. It does, except... So, it does has a continue? studded leather armor. It's got a rapier and a sling. Oh, okay. Cool. So, studded leather armor, rapier, and sling. Let's do that. Except that, as Aladdin, I'm usually not, like, going into dark caves. So, we'll do this later, but we'll, we can replace the adventurer's pack with a version of itself that doesn't have as many torches. Well, you also have light. Yes. Yeah. So I want to replace the adventures pack with all the things that are in it except for the torches. That should save me some bulk because of the fact that I don't have a very huge amount of strength. And that should help me so how much get we, some weird Aladdin how much abilities. Have we, spent? we have spent, if we take back the torches, mm -hmm. it's barely any money. So we basically spent six gold, eight silver. All right. Sitar, flute, or sackbut are all suggestions for possible instruments if I played an instrument instead of singing. Uh, yes, Hidden Twig, we are making. The Bread Thief, it is Aladdin. 
a lad in the bread thief as opposed to Jean Valjean. A, char a charlatan polymath bard. Yes, that's correct. Riff raff, street rat, I don't buy that. <laughs> Except it literally yeah, is on my character sheet. Yep. So, yeah, street urchin. With All right. soothe and illusory disguise, goes on telekinetic projectile, days, present agitation, and light. Rico the Bold imagines every adventure shop has a giant pile of torches thrown away by first level characters who don't want to bother with carrying them. Like, if we could have made it not exactly a multiple of bulk, I probably would have done that. Well, oh, Jim, thanks for the thanks for gifting gift gifting some subs. You actually gifted one to Linda, okay. so she can finally do the when, when she I can shot, finally I do Leshy emojis. Yep. And Hillary can do Leshy emojis too now. <laughs> Awesome. Leshies. Alright. RK Mark emojis. Let's do some of these Leshies. Wait, they're not... The emojis are a little weird on, on, on here. Here we go. It's the Gord Leshy. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> so, um... You know what? We'll figure out um, some other inventory... Well, do Afterwards, we wanna, do we want a ranged weapon? Oh, we've got a sling. Oh, we have a sling. Yeah. Not the best weapon of all, but my true ranged weapon is telekinetic projectile. That is true. Or days. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, step nine is calculate modifiers, which we could just do after the show. I don't think anyone yeah. cares. So, therefore, we're going to do something much more fun. Finishing details. So, what is my alignment for this diamond in the rough? Chaotic good, says Authors Dale. Chaotic good, says Excellent. I was thinking chaotic good. Everyone literally said chaotic good at the same time. All right. I even was thinking it was chaotic That's good. Eight, nine, ten votes for chaotic for good. For unanimous chaotic good. All right, so lawful can't... evil. Oh, no, no, okay, chaotic, chaotic good. All yes. right. All right. Uh, we're yeah, good. Rico the Bold has Sorry. an idea. Okay, we're chaotic good. <laughs> evil. I mean, All right. Rico All right. is funny. So, what is my deity? I'm a, like, I'm a singing, thieving. Bard, street rat. There are a lot of possibilities here. Do you have a suggestion for Caden? Caden is a solid suggestion, but I'm sure there's some. Desna? Desna. Thissimet. Thissimet. I'm sure there's some random Imperial Desna, Lord who is just like exactly the Imperial Lord of singing, stealing street rats because there's so <laughs> many Imperial Lords. Um, so let me let me see if we could I can find any suggestions to add to the mix. So certainly like uh um, the Blythe Spirit celebrations, celebrations feasts, feasts and, and holidays. holidays. Is there an Imperial Lord or let's see. Is there an so there's that one Imperial Lord who like runs uh, uh that you're not catacomb, but there's the one Imperial Lord who runs that amphitheater near where Shellen lives in um, Nirvana, who also likes singing. Can't remember her name off the top of my head. Let's see. There's... Is there, like, a Robin Hood-style Imperial Lord? Not sure. Let's let's look into the Imperial Lords. It's Chidai, Chukara, the Maiden of Hayden and Whimsy, Konia, the Wolfhound's son, um... The forgotten free from even memory, Hambad, wise grandfather, Ibeji, the twins, Itzamna, who watches from clouds, Jailai, Jatali, Rill song. Oh, that's a singing one, but I think it's going to be about Rills. Oh, there's also almost no information. It's about water, which I probably do not. Okay, um, we've got Lada, the Lady of Dance. That could be a thing. What's what's the deal about Lada? No information except the Lady of Dance. Cool. Uh, we've got Lalasi, He of Motley Repose, who strikes down travelers Lashi who deny Lashi. oases um, in the desert. Uh, we've got um, Mahi, the Guardian Beast. Man Marishi, the Festival Queen, even though we already had this event, the festival one. Um, yeah, it's like... But that's more of like athletic fest, athletics festivals. and sports okay. festivals as opposed we to We have Muingwa, the seed thrower, Agma, the champion, Pico Perry, Mare Gleam, Ketesh, the sacred lover, 
Raymanda of the Martyred Womb, probably not. Uh, Sina Shakti, Immaculate Joy. These are just the Azata Only the Azata ones. One. Sukuyomi, the Sir Not the Same as, as Sukiyo. Um, Valadi, Fire Shaker. Vikramaditya, the Wise and Valorous King. And those are only the Azata Imperial Lords. There's a I lot told of you guys Imperial we have a lot of Imperial Lords. Aang the Wanderer is on here. Um, the eldest. So I see, okay, so. There's Erez. Um, oh, whoa. It's just, so let's see. We've got Desna, Besmara, Aras, Stolman, Great Follower. Desna, Besmara, Bisamet. <coughs> All right. Caden, yeah. Desna, Desna, Desna. Milani, Rastal, Desna, uh, Besmara, Milani, Bisamet. Desna. Desna, uh, Milani. What food god did Ultra find? I, I'm Aang. trying to scroll up. Oh, it's this event. Uh, I see, I see. Um, yeah. Aang. Sir, Sina Shakti, Immaculate Sina Shakti. Joy. Sir not appearing in this character. Ha ha. Is this from Lost Omens 2? Aang would be awesome. Uh, Lantern King, the trickster god. <laughs> We could do Lantern King. That's closer to alignment than Aang. Aang is a cool deity, too. Uh, or Shika, the many, the deity of timeshares between multiple creatures that goes like Doctor Who back and forward in time in a random direction. The Elvis are just awesome in general. They're pretty cool. Um, Alright, so we have a lot of different... Um, th a lot of different things that only one person has said, and like I think... Desna got said a few times, but, I mean, she's well-known. So, now that everyone has said everything that they've said... So, do we want to do what a do we war deity, an imperial lord, or an eldest? So, Desna would be winning by votes, but I feel like now that everything's out on the table, uh, that people could decide which of these deities they like. So, Exenland says an eldest. Author Stale says an eldest. And... Hillary clearly is going to say an eldest because she wants to do Aang. Um, let me look down here. Kim Craig says eldest. eldest. Okay, so we're doing an eldest. Okay, so we're doing an eldest. That narrows okay. things down. That narrows things down quite a bit. Okay, there's not actually that many eldest. So I can just read all the eldest that are... Close in alignment. So that are even remotely, remotely close in alignment. So we right. could do Count Renalk, the traitor... And the betrayed, who is chaotic neutral, and he may have been betrayed or betrayed others. Um, Inbrex is lawful. Lantern King, the trickster. Lost Prince, the super emo, um, and melancholy lord. Um, uh, no, Matt is lawful neutral. Aang is true neutral as well. Aang is the, um, the god of secrets and seasons and wanderers. Aang the wanderer. and stuff like that. Yep. Ragadon, the chaotic evil Lord of Linorms, is also only two steps away. And Shika, the many, is that timeshare weird time deity that we mentioned. So, th those are the only ones that are two steps or less. So, it looks like we've got Lantern King. Okay, I worship the Lantern, Lantern King. There, and it's scrolling up, there was a lot Lantern of Lantern King. King. Hello, the propaganda. Hello. Alright, so I worship the Lantern King. Alright, what is my character's age? I think I remember seeing in, um, see, seeing in, like, um, like the official Disney thing that, um, like, Jasmine was supposed to be, like, 14 and, and Aladdin is supposedly, like, 17 or 18 yeah. or something like so that. So you have 16, 15, 16, 19, 15, 19 21, 21, and 16. So you're definitely a very young character. All right, so hold on. 31, 50, 71, 87. You're totally fine in the average, aren't you? Yes, it's 103 divided by 6 is... I'm 17. That is the arithmetic mean of all the things that people have said so far. <laughs> Sorry, Uthersdale, your outlier was too late, and it's ignored as an outlier. Yeah, Wikipedia says 18 for, for Aladdin, but my character is 17. He was found by the society before then, I guess. Okay. Not going to do the geometric mean in my head. <laughs> All right. 
the Power Gandalf seconds 1074. All right. Well, well, we don't have a reason why this is yeah, 1074. All right. What is my character's gender and pronouns? If it's Aladdin, it's probably male, he, him. But, all right, let's see. Male, he, him. Yes, male, he, him. All right, so we're male, he, him. Okay, that's it, everybody. We have now made this character, except a name. Yes. Oh, and we also have to do the Pathfinder Society steps. So while you're thinking of a name, let's do the Pathfinder Society steps. So growing up as a... Oh, thanks for the uh, gifting the subscription, Dumbat. Also, I just realized that um, when Jib gave the subscription... I did not you give the extra XP, so yes. I'm going to do that while you guys, and I'll give it to Numbat while you guys think of the, um, the name, the name, and also we're, then we're going to pick the society thing, so I'm going to give the extra XP to Jib, Jib. and then Numbat. Numbat, and then after that, we shall see about names and the society stuff. So, um, Absalom is what people are saying. So, grew up as a street urchin in Absalom. So, unlike like the last five characters that have been made via workshops that are always mm -hmm. filled commissions, could potentially have been actually trained at the society with a, a little more reasonably than some of the other ones. So... We've got field commission. We've got oh yeah, let's do the so training. We've got field commission. We've got scrolls. It, it looks like Absaladin. Yeah, Absaladin is actually my character's name. <laughs> um, field commission scrolls. Scrolls. Absaladin. Okay. Um, yeah, Absaladin. He goes by Absaladin. <laughs> <laughs> Or Ab Saladin. Like, <laughs> Sa like Saladin, the great general from Kadira. Uh, Alright, it looks, looks like, like scrolls. scrolls. Alright, we're scrolls. And then, um, so, for the last, but certainly not scrolls? least, what faction am I going to be initially champion? Salad to his friend. Yeah, Salad to his friend. Um, I could be initially championing the, um, the Explorer Faction, the Horizon Hunters, the Report Faction, the Grand Archive, the Cooperate Faction, the um, Envoys Alliance, or the um, Destroy and Keep Things um, Keep Things Sort of Cooped Up Faction, the Vigilant Seal. Or the, or uh, the minor Oath. factions like the Radiant Oath and the Verdant Wheel. The Radiant Oath is all about redeeming and helping people in need, and the Verdant Wheel is like, there's a cycle of nature happening around here. It's all very natural. The environmentalist is the Verdant Wheel. All right. Actually, Verdant Wheel is enormously popular in these character creation workshops. We need to check. Linda, you need to check how much people are playing Verdant Wheel. If it's if it's being played, if these are at all representative, then maybe it needs to be a major faction someday. I don't even know. Yeah, well, that's what we said. We'll keep all an right. eye on that. Oh, game. Radiant Oath just got a bunch of votes. Uh, I'm guessing these are way huh. up on representative. Verbal wheel it has the best. This leader to learn breaking into people's places from. The one about keeping or destroying. My dangerous, dangerous lamps. The vigilant that's seal. That's a vote for vigilant seal. Yeah, that's right. The vigilant seal is like. Yes, I need you to go into the cave of wonders and bring back a lamp. Touch nothing else. She ends up being crazy with RPing the verbal wheel faction leader. Oh, I see. It's because people like Erwall. Right. People like Erwall. So, there were some more for Radiant Oath, so it's getting close between Verdant Wheel and Radiant Oath. There's only one for Vigilant Seal. So, let's see. We've got... Scrolling up. Oh, actually, I can just scroll this down. It's easier. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we've if got... He, uh, so says, if he was a paladin, he'd be absolute paladin. So, we have three <laughs> verdant... Actually, there's a horizon hunter from Strayer up there. Three verdant, horizon, two radiant, and, yeah, he, if he... No, there's a verdant oh, up there. There's a radiant up there, third radiant. I think there's a verdant up there, too. It's just hard to see it because of scrolling. Yep. But, yeah, I... 
think that's true, right? All right, so it looks like we're probably gonna be radiant. No, there's a ra yeah. No, the, the very I think it's exactly a tie. Three radiant. Another, uh, there's uh, yeah, hunters. there's one for Rising Hunters, which is Strayu. Yeah. Radiant Oath by nature, but when he contains the lamp, he earns extra reputation with Vigilant Seal. Radi okay, Radiant Oath. Radiant Oath. All right. Both of my characters are Radiant Oath. Uh, assuming this is going to be one of my characters, because is mm -hmm. also Radiant Oath. Mm -hmm. Just like she was Silver Crusade before. All right. We've got this. It's... Ab Saladin. Ab Saladin, the polymath bard. Although if he was Ab Saladin, then he would be like a um. He would have like one Welsh and one um. <laughs> Don't forget and to one add random apostrophes. I feel like no, no. Apps have a ap apostrophe yeah. is a Welsh ending, and there is at least one Absalom NPC who has an app randomly, like from Welsh. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright, we've got it. We've got it. And we have two characters. I feel like even though this character is Aladdin, somehow it's less, like, off the wall than your character. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Good job, team, indeed. And then we will, once we get into November and get that um, second replayable quest, I think, we're going to want to play that with Roll for Combat. Steven from Roll for Combat has invited us to do quest that. Could be, I think that replayable quest could be pretty interesting for these characters. Oh? Yeah. Well, Linda knows what it is. I actually don't. Is it rude to, to call him salad, salad if, if there's leshies around? Run, says possible cabbage. Just don't say salad if there are leshies around. It makes them uncomfortable. I feel like, yeah, I feel like... That's like if there was an intelligent... If there's a minotaur in your team and you say veal. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Absaladin... Goes by salad to his no, friends. No, he doesn't go by salad to his friends. <laughs> no, it, is, it doesn't have to be there. Alright, anyway. Maybe he goes by Sal. Oh yeah, Sal, there we go. Alright, and Altro gifted a sub. A sub. Thanks, Altro. Thanks, Altro. You have Gave heard. it to Possible Cabbage, who could also be found in a salad. <laughs> um, so, so let's give XP. Altro some extra XP's. Wee. There we go. And let's get and then alrighty. Possible, Possible cabbage, cabbage is, is a great name, name for a leshy. leshy. It's uh, it's a good name for a leshy enigma bard. It's like the mystery. Oh yeah. A possible cabbage or like a Zen koan monk. Also, is it a cabbage or is it a possible cabbage? What is the sound of one cabbage clapping? <laughs> All right. Well. Yep. Now I'm just we, imagining it's like adding a adding a reward. It's like we build possible cabbage a level one character. A level one cabbage. <laughs> level right. one cabbage. So let's say bye to YouTube. Bye YouTube. See bye. you next time.